Hi everybody, this is Blue Phoenix, a.k.a. Urkin Fresh, for lesson number eight, vocals. Uh, before we get started there, there's one thing I wanted to clean up. I'm always cleaning up after myself. Um, but back on the uh, Botzilla here, this uh, this pad sound. Let's just play this. I want to change the gating pattern here. Do something a little bit more interesting. So that's just a little something there. Um, also, I noticed that uh, because because you have the same pattern here in the first half and the second half, you can actually take and uh, instead of taking it from that fourth hole over there, that output, you can take it from the second one and you'll have the same effect. So there you go. All right, so let's get on into some vocals. Um, I recently purchased from uh, Sound Iron this uh, vocal pack called uh, Voices of Gaia. Uh, and the vocalist is uh, Francesca Genko. Genko? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, in order to set that up, I'm going to get a, uh, a contact. Number five, version five. Um. And so, basically, uh, when you download and install this, it, it just goes to a directory on your hard drive, and you can now go and load this up. I believe it's uh, it's in the light... Uh, well, I don't want the light directory. I want the full deal. So, if I go to... Um, I think it's Legato Master is what I want. Double-click that, and it will uh, load the samples. It's a pretty extensive library, so there's uh, there's a lot of samples. It has to do quite a bit of loading here. So uh, that's going to come up now. If you don't have this uh, particular one, which you probably don't, it's fairly new, then uh, you know just get whatever oohs and ahs you happen to have in your library and and uh, and fire those up instead. Um, I've got here a. Uh, Back in uh, tutorial three fourths, <laughs> lesson three fourths, um, I created this tune file for contact. All I need to do is uh, control A to select all, do a copy, and then in contact, uh, you have to go to the, over to the wrench tool and click on script editor and uh, find an empty one here. I'm going to do uh, edits and then paste it in. And that will apply our micro tuning to the samples, which is really cool. Okay, so uh, with this thing, uh, with this particular library, they set it up really nicely. It's it's uh, really easy to work with. First of all, that's really super quiet, so I'm going to turn up the output. And. Uh, some things we can do here really fast to kind of thicken this up. If we turn on mic two and then pan these uh, across from each other, kind of adds a little bit of a stereo effect. And uh, we want to leave legato on. What legato is going to do is uh, it's going to have more of a natural sound as we transition through the notes. Instead of no legato. So we're going to leave Legato on, and uh, we can set a, a key switch. What that's going to do for us is switch between the different vowel sounds we have here. I'm going to set it here, just down here at C1. So I think the default is AW. And if I click on this, it goes to M, mm, and then there's an U. Is that working? Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, basically, uh, given this, I, I created some note lanes, and and uh, I discussed this earlier in the tutorial series that it's a very iterative process. I really had to work with it and uh, get it to where I wanted it to be. So it, it is not a simple process by any means. Um, there was something else I did here, and uh, they set up this really cool looking rack in there. Uh, 
Sound Iron has done this for us. I'm actually going to turn off the reverb they've included and, and put in a, a, a chorus. Turn that right. No, that's... Depth mix. Just want something that sounds uh, fairly natural. <laughs> Don't go too crazy with it. And uh, I'm going to add a compressor as well, so I don't trust the one in the rack because I'm not really sure what the parameters mean. So it's still it's still very low here, and this is just one note. Um, I've maxed this out over here. So what I'm going to do is add a, a utility. I like to call it a futility, just to get it back up to unity, or to get it up to unity in the first place. And then from there we'll do a compressor. So uh, just do like a maybe three to one. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, some reverb. And uh, I kind of like to <laughs> I kind of like to drown my vocals in reverb, <laughs> which is the way I like to do it. Very cool, huh? So uh, what I've come up with is uh, I came up with three different note lanes. Um, you'll notice way down here there's a key switch, which is going to set us over to ooh. Uh, and then in the all lane, I've got one that will set us to ah. So let me just uh, play one for you. Actually, I have to take that back. That wasn't really intended for that part of the song. <laughs> this one is, though. I'm going to turn this down, too. So I will be including those MIDI clips in the uh, sound pack. Uh, you don't have to type those in yourself, or uh, not really typing, but <laughs> uh, and you know, feel free to modify it too, because uh, with this particular sound set, you can do you can do some really cool stuff. Um, so I'm gonna call this uh, legato, and these will be used in different parts of the track. Um, so I think let's go ahead and. These are kind of the flat areas. So that's what I come up with earlier. I'm actually going to add another uh, another one for uh, doing some kind of pads. I'll show you how that's done too. So again, we're going to load up. Uh, we don't really need the legato. We need. Uh, let me think here. Staccato. Let's see here. I think I just go to. The, I'll just load up the master light. Um, it's got a few less features, and we don't need all the features for, for doing just the pads. So the key here is to turn off Legato and set it to, uh, yeah. With Legato, we can't uh, we can't have multiple notes playing at once. So that's kind of a, that's a deal breaker. And of course, the output is totally... Let's do a uh, let's do a utility to bring that up to 
It's your DB. Compressor. Let's kind of smooth out those peaks a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn on chorus again. Um, chorus. And one more thing I almost forgot. We need to turn on the uh, script. So I'm just going to paste that in there again. So that's our micro-tuning script. Okay. And turn on the reverb. I'll tell you what. Let's... Uh, this is way up there now. Let's turn this down. I think the chorus increased the volume. So now that we got that, let's put this in here and call it uh, Vox. Not F Vox. Vox pads. Now let's turn this off. All right, so uh, one thing I would like to do also is turn on uh, potentially, we can uh, we can modulate this later, but I'm gonna turn on this gating effect. So there you go. Uh, that's basically it for the vocals. Again, I'm going to give you these mini clips so you don't have to fret over that. And uh, in the next one, I'm going to create an ARP sound using Batzilla. And uh, it sounds really nice and uh, kind of a bell sound. It'll be fun. So uh, thanks again for watching. hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. See ya.